Well, cholestasis is a little bit like group B strep. is a condition that people have become very interested in over the last five years or so. Um, strictly speaking, what cholestasis is, or obstetric cholestasis, is that in situations where a woman has higher oestrogen in her blood, so sometimes if she's taking the pill, or sometimes if she's undergoing uh, assisted conception, or during pregnancy, she begins to lose the ability to uh, metabolise bile and bile salts normally. And what that can translate into is bile salts being laid down in the skin and in other organs like the placenta and cause symptoms. And the predominant symptom of obstetric cholestasis is itching. Although if you look at people who itch in pregnancy, very few of them have obstetric cholestasis. The diagnosis is usually made by blood test. And the blood tests that we're interested in are how the liver is functioning in general and specifically what level of bile salts there are in mum's blood. So we make the diagnosis based on elevation of those things in mum's blood. The way people became interested in obstetrics, in, in obstetric cholestasis, is that babies that were lost, babies that were born dead, stillbirths, were looked at and it seemed that perhaps in a few of them there had been an abnormality of mum's liver metabolism. And whenever anything is, is first discovered in that way, one always immediately thinks there's a cause and effect going on and that the liver abnormality has caused the stillbirth. Now, what always happens in medicine then is that more well thought out studies are done whereby you'd look not at what proportion of stillbirths had problems with mum's liver, but where there are some problems with the metabolism of something like bile, how does that affect the pregnancy? And I suspect that those studies which are being done now are going to show that the risks are much smaller than we've thought perhaps for the last few years. Um, practice mostly within the UK at the moment is that when people reach term, which is 37 weeks, because the baby would be considered to be mature, then we don't feel able to take chances uh, with a condition that we know is associated with increased risk to the baby. I think as larger studies are done, it may show that, that those risks are overestimated and the natural follow-on from that would be that we weren't advising people to be induced at 37 weeks, which is my current practice. Um, it, we may find that it's safer just to continue on with the pregnancy. So, if you're experiencing extreme itchiness, let your midwife or obstetrician know about it.